Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. Happy Memorial Day. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Recognizing many of you are probably not at work today, maybe enjoying time with friends or family out in the sun if you're somewhere warm, getting some much needed rest, I'm sure. I also recognize that there's probably some of you that are on your way at or coming home from work right now. So thank you for working to make it possible for the rest of us not to be working if we're not. So thank you for whatever point or situation you're at throughout the day that you're taking time right now to tune in and to get into the Word of God. That's awesome. Thank you for joining us. This week, I want to focus on something that's been heavy on my heart. I know that Pastor Nabil and I are obviously pastors at Shrewsbury Assembly in Shrewsbury, Pennsylvania, but I do recognize that not everyone watching attends church there or is even in the state of Pennsylvania. Awesome and welcome. But just to give you a little insight, this past week at our church, we faced... um, grief, we faced loss and hardship. And um, although you might not be involved in those specific situations, we all understand those things. Life brings us trouble. Life brings us unexpected circumstances. Life brings us hardship and loss, pain. And what do we do when we face those things? Well, a lot of times they bring us to our knees. They bring us to a place where we are caused to reflect on things to determine what we believe about things, to either turn to God or in some cases turn away from God. But the word of God encourages us in times of trouble. Throughout the pages, Genesis to Revelation, we hear stories of regular people like you and me going through hard times. And we see the faithfulness of God in those times. And so as I even face my own emotions this past week and moving forward into life, Um, I'm comforted by the word of God. And I just want to share some of those scriptures with you this week and hope that they comfort you as well. So if you have your Bibles with you, we're going to be reading a few verses from Psalms 34 today, verses 17 and 18. All right. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. What stronger, more powerful words can you have this morning or this evening? When you cry out to God, he hears you. He listens. I love to picture him leaning in, attentively wanting to hang on every word I have to say. Your father loves you. God the father loves us and he listens when we cry out to him. It goes on to say he delivers them from their troubles. God is an active listener. Not only is he listening, but he's already working in those situations as we cry out to him for help or comfort or understanding or peace. He's not just sitting back and saying, oh, That's unfortunate. No, he's moving. He's providing what we need. He's making a way of escape. He's opening up an opportunity. He's bringing relief to pain. God is so good. Listen specifically what it says in verse 18. It says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. Have you ever been brokenhearted? Have you ever felt like your spirit has been crushed? Maybe it was with unexpected news. Maybe it was from the loss of a loved one. Maybe it was a tragedy that struck your home. Maybe it was um, the loss of a relationship. There's so many things in life that can bring us trouble. And yet these verses always encourage me and remind me that no matter what circumstances I'm facing, there is a God in heaven who is listening and ready to act on our behalf. So today, no matter what circumstance you find yourself in, If it's something I I brought up or something completely different, God is listening. Are you talking to him? You know, it's really easy to go to other sources. It's really really easy to go to other coping mechanisms when we feel so many different emotions. But are we going to God? I want to encourage you today that no matter what troubles you may be facing in your life, if they relate to you or someone you care about, pray about it. Bring them before the Father. Reveal to him what you're going through and how you're feeling. And just like this verse assures us, God is close to you. He's with you. He's already working on your behalf and he's listening. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in today. And I hope to see you again tomorrow for another daily dose for spiritual growth.